So firstly, what is in the test kit? You have your instruction manual and I will always suggest or recommend that you read through it so that you know that you use everything correctly and not get false results. Then you have your test kit itself. Then in the test kit, you'll also find your swabs, you find your diluent, and then also your um, pipette with which you're gonna collect the sample to add to the test. And then once you have everything ready, obviously you will need your sample. So you have two ways that you can use it. Either when you're on the farm, you can collect it directly from the animal, or you can collect the sample. If you can't test it immediately, collect the samples, take it back home, put it in a fridge. It's important to wear gloves. They are zoonotic diseases. So you collect your sample, and you mix it in the diluent. It's really important that you mix it well um, and then give it time to um, just have the sediment settle to the bottom so that the, the part of the diluent you collect is free of um, solid material. So if you look at the test, there will be one well per disease and you'll add four drops per well. And the important part of the test is to wait the prescribed 10 minutes. If you wait too short, a period you can get a false negative because it didn't have enough time to run through the fluid or you can have false positives if you leave it too long and forget to read your test so it's really important to adhere to the 10 minute waiting period so this is your um, control strap and you want one ideally next to each of the disease names so this means that the test worked for all five of the diseases um, if this is your result after 10 minutes it means that all the test tested negative if you don't have one of these straps, it means you need to re redo the test um, since something went wrong, because this is your control to show that it worked. But if you have an additional strap more or less in this area, it means that that test is positive. So if you have corona with two straps, it means that that calf has corona antigen present in its species. Uh, because it's, uh, we're working with contagious diseases and you don't want to infect the area you're working, and especially not the farm and spread disease, for biosecurity purposes, it's important to dispose of the test um, in an appropriate manner and to keep it away from children and animals. Thank you very much for watching this video and make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more information.